don't know what to do, but my eyes are upon you. I don't want to fight them the way that they're fighting me. I want to really see a victory from this. I want to see you perform in my life. Welcome back to my channel. For those of y'all who do not know me, my name is Sahara. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I make faith-based and lifestyle content here on YouTube and I post every Saturday. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to subscribe down below. You guys, today we are going to be doing our first soap method bible study and i am so excited so i'm excited to share with you the scripture that god has placed on my heart for us to do for our first bible study so make sure obviously you have your bible girl get your bible out and then if you're going to be writing notes on paper make sure that you have your journal i'm going to be using my laptop today and then if you're doing notes make sure that you get a highlighter and a pen so without further ado let's go on ahead and get started okay so for those of you guys who don't know what the soap method is it's it's a really cool method that you can use to Bible study and actually remember and be able to write notes on what exactly you read. So the S stands for scripture, the O stands for observation, the A stands for application, and the P stands for prayer. So I'm actually going to be taking you guys in real time with me through this Bible study and I want you guys in the comment section to let me know what you think about the verse of scriptures that we're going to be reading today. And if there's any that you want to go over together, I would love to make a video about it. Just let let me know in the comment section below. So today we're going to be reading 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And obviously I won't read the whole uh, chapter because it is 37 verses. I would love to, but I want to give you guys that opportunity on your own time. This story is absolutely amazing and it actually shows you your position and how you should handle adversity, how you should handle things coming against you and your family. God really placed it on my heart to revisit this chapter and so I would love to go over it with you guys. I will be reading different sections of this actual chapter. I want you guys to follow along with me. Let's begin by starting off to read 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 1 through 6. After this, the Moabites and the Ammonites with some of the Munites came to war against Jehoshaphat. Some people came and told Jehoshaphat, a vast army is coming against you from Edom, from the other side of the Dead Sea. It has already in Hazion Tamar. Alarmed Jehoshaphat resolved to inquire of the Lord and he proclaimed a fast for all of Judah the people of Judah came together to seek from the Lord indeed they came from every town in Judah to seek him then Jehoshaphat stood up in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the temple of the Lord in front of the new courtyard and said Lord the God of our ancestors are you not the God who is in heaven you rule over all the kingdoms of the nation power and might are in your hand and no one can withstand you. Now let's go to verse 12. Our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. All the men of Judah with their wives and children and little ones stood there before the Lord. Now let's go to verse 15. He said, listen, King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem. This is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this past army for the battle is not yours, but God's. Verse 16, tomorrow march down against them. They will be climbing up the pass of Ziz and you will find them at the end of the gorge in the desert of Jerul. Now let's finish off at verse 21. After consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointing men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness as they went out at the head of the army saying, give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. As they begin to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah and they were defeated. For those of you guys who need a little bit more context, I encourage you to do your research on your own but just to give basic insight King Jehoshaphat actually leads the people of Judah and so obviously we could see through this verse of scripture how he handles adversity and he is a God-fearing man who led the people of Judah to victory in this war so I'm gonna be sharing my screen with you guys I'll be doing my soap method um, on a website called notion
section and it actually helps me organize my notes better, but you can use whatever works for you. So as you guys could see, I um, just created like a little profile for our SOAP Bible study today, but in the title, I'm going to go on ahead and name it um, uh, the Second Chronicles. And then we'll just do chapter 20 because I did do a couple of different um, verses of scripture. For the topic, we'll go on ahead. I'll just put a soap method um, Bible study. And then for the book, we'll just, uh oh, where'd it go? Let me just put soap Bible study like I just did. <laughs> okay. So we'll put create. And then for the book, We'll put Second Chronicles like we just had there. And then for the date, we'll put today's date. It is the 21st. And then files, I just leave that part empty because um, I don't have anything to put there right now. And then here, if you want to add the people, you can put um, Jehoshaphat. How do, you, how do you spell his name? Let me see. You guys, I'm not the best with spelling. I'm taking from my Bible. Okay. Yes, that. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's go on ahead and go to the scripture. So I don't know about you guys, but this story was super powerful. And some of the verses of scripture that actually stood out to me, I'm just going to write them here under scriptures. And to me, verse six stood out to me. So verse six was one of the ones that stood out to me um, because it was Jehoshaphat's um, response to trouble for me that honestly was like very encouraging. Like instead of him saying, Lord, this army is coming against us. Why are you letting this happen? He said, Lord. This army is coming against us, okay? You are a powerful God. You are a strong God. Please stop them. I know it's not too hard for you. So in this in this part, he's really remembering um, really how big God is. So that's one of them that did. Um, and then also in verse 12, so I'm gonna put a comma here, Second Chronicles, verse 12. Um, and then I will do verse 22 as well because obviously that's where the victory took place and that the actual like um visual victory took place um for them um in this passage okay so then here and where it says one two and three i want you guys in your own time to actually go back and actually type up the scriptures i won't do that for this one um because i have my bible right here and i'll transfer it after the video um, so these are the three verses of scriptures that stood out to me. So now for observation for the soap method, it's saying, what was meaningful? What did you learn and how was God speaking? Okay, so I'm just going to write something for all three of the verses of scripture that we have. So specifically for me, I'm going to put, sorry if y'all hear that, there's a bird outside of my window. <laughs> okay, so for the first one, so for um, 2 Chronicles chapter 6, um, I'm going to reread it. The Lord, Lord, the God of our ancestors, are you not the God who made heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of the nation. So to me, this one was meaningful because this was, I'll put verse 6 was Jehoshaphat. response to trouble instead of him getting mad at God he prayed and remembered God's power and how he had came through for him in the past okay so then now we're going to go to verse 12 and verse 12 this one says our god will you not judge them 
For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. So actually, you guys, um, I, let me see, who was it? Who was it that actually said this? It was one of the prophets I know and the people of Judah that actually received a prophecy. Um, no, no, sorry. This was actually Jehoshaphat, excuse me. So this was Jehoshaphat that was saying this, Lord, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. And then later on in the passage was um, when there was a prophecy that came that God said, don't be afraid. Um, the battle's not yours, it's the Lord. So verse 12 is the one that stuck out to me that said, Lord, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. So that right there stuck out to me because it's basically saying, Lord, I don't know what to pray even right now, but all I can do is remember the simple fact that you came through for me before. And I don't know what to do, but my eyes are upon you and I'm ready to see you work in my life. So that's what stood out to me for verse um, 12 um, was their vulnerability. And y'all, I am not the best speller vulnerable bone or y'all do not laugh at me B-L-E. -E. let me see okay so we're gonna figure this word out was their vulnerability to the fact that they didn't know what to pray or do and in their weakness, God came through for them. Also, it was their humility to admit they didn't know what to do. And also, I love this um, actual story in the Bible because you don't see the people of Judah or Jehoshaphat trying to seek revenge. They didn't go, you know, to plan, okay, so you guys, we're going to fight them. We're going to go against them just the way that they're coming against us. They didn't do that. These are people of God that said, listen, Lord, I don't know what to do, but my eyes are upon you. I don't want to fight them the way that they're fighting me. I want to really see a victory from this. I want to see you perform in my life. And just the fact that instead of fighting back, they went up and their eyes looked up. This is why I love this story because it is so powerful. So now we're going to go to verse 22. And it says, as they begin to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah and they were defeated. So this verse stood out to me. Because this is where the people of Judah seen their victory. God was able to show his faithfulness to his children. I can see as a result of their surrender and humility, God's strength was made perfect. The next step in the SOAP method is application. So now the questions we ask ourselves is how do we apply this and how is it going to change us? So for me personally, after reading this story, I feel like this, this is going to change me because now I see the proper response to get a reaction and to get God to perform a miracle in my life is to surrender, is to be humble, and is to pray and worship God. So this will change me because I now know what is a proper response to trouble.
Okay, so for the next point, I'm gonna put um, prayer and surrender equal miracle. Because for me personally, that is what is the steps that I need to take in order to see a miracle in my life. So prayer press plus surrender equal miracle. As we can clearly see here, the way to get God to move is to pray, surrender, and worship him. Um, and then for the third verse, I, I mean, for the third way that I can apply this to my life and how will it change is, um, I believe, doing the things the people of Judah did. I believe doing the things the people of Judah did will allow me to see God move in bigger ways in my life when I realize he is mighty and can do anything that gives him a platform to work. The last point of the SOAP method is prayer. So now I want you guys to take the word, take everything that you broke down and you digested, and I want you to pray and ask God to show you ways that you can apply it in your daily life, as well as ask him to change your heart to be more um, like him and be more like the people of God that you've seen and that we've seen in this word. So specifically for me, I'm going to ask God to help me um, in times of trouble, even whenever I don't see the way out, even whenever I don't see how he could work a miracle for God to change my heart and remind me of this word. And I want this word to be rooted in my heart so that way when trouble comes, I know exactly what to do. I'm not unequipped and I will be rocking and rolling. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope that this encouraged somebody. It has definitely encouraged me. And like I said, if you guys have any stories that you wanna go over together, just let me know in the comment section down below so that we can grow in the things of God together. We're gonna to make this out of a community. That is what this channel is literally about, is about God using what he has planted inside of me to help you shine your light. I love you guys so much and I'll see y'all on next week. God bless. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be there. Watch me, watch you, watch you see that